bored with this. These mother camera. Hello, Beverly Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beverly Hills. Guys, I'm going to do a very quick video because I literally just woke up and I was reading about this everywhere. And I just want to get to tell you this, guys. And uh, this is not even tea. This is like a very serious matter. And it's all about uh, Dorit Kemsley, all right? Uh, before we start, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Do it right now if you are new here and you want to join the Beverly Troop. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, guys. And let's talk about this. I mean, this is one of those serious situations when you realize that these people on our TVs are real people, you know, and that they go through situations that can be very traumatizing, okay? So, guys, apparently last night, Dorit Kemsley from The Real House of Beverly Hills was, um, her home was bur burglarized while she was there with her two kids and she was held um with a gun you know to her head and it was a very very scary situation okay according to the daily mail the uh the burglars i, I don't know how to say that word uh they came into their house into her house around 11 p.m they uh broke through the kids like um classroom you know um, room <laughs> and uh, they went inside she was already sleeping she was by herself because PK is right now in London and um, she woke up to basically um, her you know these three guys uh, pointing a gun at her you know and basically telling telling her to uh, give them everything you know and all that um, she uh, allegedly begged for her life you know she said that please don't kill me I'm a mother and to which one of these guys apparently respond uh, just kill her so imagine how like disturbing this imaging is you know you are there as she was by herself her kids were in in the room you know I mean it was a whole mess the uh, the whole thing took 20 minutes apparently and they went through all the house and they took all her jewelry and her handbags they did not enter the room of the kids. Uh, fucking assholes. I mean, I have to say, uh, you know, like, why that guy will go on and say kill her? Like, those kind of tactics, like, I feel that that's going to be on her head for the rest of her life, you know? And I know that because my family went through the same thing many years ago. And they also went uh, help with a gun, you know, at my house. And my sister, who was a kid at that moment, she was like, I will say, probably seven years old or six years old. Uh, and she's still traumatized by it. So thank God. I mean, we don't know much yet. I'm thinking, I, I, for what I know, the kids didn't, weren't there. So if that's the case, thank God, because those images will be on their heads forever. But Dorit, you know, was there and she will probably be traumatized um, with this for the rest of her life. So these people, I, I really, really hope that police can catch them because it's disgusting. OK, um, she did the report to the police after they left, you know, uh, PK, she called PK, she, I mean, the whole thing, you know, so, um, I don't know, the only thing that we can say is, like, thank God that, you know, all of them are fine, thank God that they didn't do anything to her, you don't know what these people are capable of, um, I don't know if you remember this, but something similar happened to Kim Kardashian, you know, if you watch Keeping Up With The Kardashian, it happened to her when she was in Paris, and if you haven't watched that episode when she talked about the experience, it's one of the most powerful episodes on Keeping Up With The Kardashians, you know? And it's very real, and you you see 
the pain and the trauma on her eyes and you can hear it on her voice you know and as a mother you know thinking of your kids thinking like all the things that go through your mind i remember this specific part when uh kim says uh i was only uh, uh, thinking about you know um corny finding my body uh in in the room you know and like like the kids you know and it really like break my heart so all those things go through your mind you know so i'm just i'm i'm really really you know praying for the dorit that she find the strength to move forward with this i'm really hoping that um she will be fine that the kids will be fine and um i'm really really hoping that the police is able to catch these assholes you know and put them on display so we know who these people are honestly because it is disgusting honestly and it's one of the worst things uh, that you can do especially to a mother especially that bitch who went on and said just kill her okay because those words will be under Reed's head for the rest of her life um so yeah i just wanted to tell you that guys um i think i don't know if i don't know if Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, it's already filming, you know. I think they are, but I think they are filming just little pieces here and there. So, I don't know if this is going to be a part, you know. I don't know if she's going to have the strength to talk, you know, about this right away. Um, it took Kim Kardashian a well amount of time to, you know, be able to recover and talk about it. So, <clears throat> I don't know if Dorit is gonna go through the same process um she hasn't give any statement directly you know these news were broke by the daily mail and page six but it's all like a source from uh dorit so nothing has been said by dorit directly you know so we just have to wait and see i'm just i mean i can only imagine like she must be so shaking up right now that um something like this happened to her um <clears throat> that's it guys i don't know like uh i don't know if there is anything that we can really comment other than uh sending her prayers you know sending her a lot of positive energy and um hoping that she'll recover from this and um yeah let me know guys and i'm just trying to think I'm just trying to understand, like, how there are people in this world that are capable to do something like this. It really, really breaks my heart. And like I said, you know, because I went through this and my family went through this, I know what it felt, you know. I know, um, you know, how traumatizing can this be. So I'm really, really feeling for her. Anyways, let me know, and like always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, guys, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.